I love football. I love football shirts. I just love football things, really, but they're just so expensive. I want to see what football gems I can find at charity shops. How many football items can £30 get me? Not many, probably. If you're after a flannel, this is the perfect place, but not for football shirts, it appears. First stop, Richmond, North Yorkshire. A beautiful Yorkshire market town, home of Earl's Orchard Football Ground, voted the most scenic ground in the UK, and plenty of charity shops to explore too. There's some snazzy little numbers, not what we're looking for though. Can these pass as goalkeeper gloves? I didn't think so. In my first charity shop, I had very little luck. I searched through the DVDs, I looked through the books, I found a mug referencing rugby and a tennis racket. That's not my sport. And just like Timo Werner, I couldn't seem to find the target at the first shop. It's a thumbs down from me. We've got to keep the spirits and move on to charity shop number two. In the second charity shop, we were met with yet more flannels. It appears the town of Richmond is smart dressing folk. That's not what I needed right now. I looked and looked throughout the shelves, and yet still, I found no luck. I kept going. We've got more to go. We can do this. But first, it was time for my mandatory walk across the town of Richmond. The build-up came near, the crowd are roaring. We need to find something. But wait, what is this on the bookshelf? It's only gonna be a George Best biography. It's exactly what we needed for £1.25. It's been an emotional day. I did find a DVD about Manchester City and a book referencing how long it would have taken Tottenham to score a goal in the League Cup final. But apart from that, no luck. The next charity shop, Oxfam. They grow vegetables, they empower women, they fill classrooms, they fight poverty. I just want some football memorabilia, to be honest. What even is this? Oh, is it? That's a Mab's bucket. That's who we're playing in the final today. I'm gonna buy it and then wear it, Sean, today. No, no, no. I'm gonna support the team that you're playing. Richmond Mavericks are an amateur football club from Richmond. The club have become famous for their foreign tours, visiting France, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Switzerland and Singapore and Malaysia. That's more European trips than Arsenal in the last few years. This is a local club for local people. Not only did I find the jacket, I looked up to find a book talking about the first hundred years of the football league. Not only that, I found Bladder, a two-player game based on the origins of football, a combination of chess and football. It looks unreal to be fair. And a DVD, The Football Factory. What charity shop is this? Oxford. The latest thing we found is the Football League first hundred years. It's forward by Tom Finney. Pretty sure he used to be a Preston North End player. So this is a mega bug. Just, I've called it a bug. I've called it a bug. And over here I've just noticed something as well. No, I'm not going to get that at all so let's just clean that off. Bad news is we've just, we've, we've lost one of the things we've just picked up from this shop. I just, I put it down. And you know, you know when you put something down? Right, actually I'm panicking now. I'm not even having a laugh with you. What's the point? <laughs> Oh, you see, you don't see anything, and then just like buses, you get two. To begin with, I signed for Olympic Lyon, and then I was that exceptional that Italy, my national team, wanted my services. In all seriousness, these were two really good pulls. £8.50 for the Leon shirt and then £4 for the Italy shirt with Del Piero on the back. There we go. Thank, Thank you. you. This time round I had a lot less luck. I was in search of some football mugs but all I could find was Florentino Perez. I had to look at the DVDs. This wasn't a DVD about Damien Duff. This wasn't a DVD about Newcastle United's footballing style. And this wasn't a DVD documenting what Kepa uses too much of. Oh actually, I'm gonna get Mrs Brown's boys, said nobody ever. But this 
was a football DVD. The history of football. I'm actually really excited to watch this. All CDs and DVDs were two for a pound, so I bought something else and got purchasing. Which leaves me with all my items. So I got two football shirts, a football jacket, so I got an Olympic Lyon football shirt and a tip an Italy national team shirt with Del Piero on the back, a Richmond Mavericks football jacket, two football DVDs, two football books and a football board game, all for less than £30.